Catawba Ridge, and happy February 1st, everyone. It's time for your copper heads up. And in case you forgot, today is a B day, and there's a lot kicking off of the ridge today, so listen up. Today marks the beginning of a new spring sports season, and with nine teams getting ready to take the field, track, and court, we want to make sure you are in the know. So, boys and girls soccer, lacrosse, track and field, baseball, softball, and boys tennis all have tryouts, and pretty much everyone is right after school today. Make sure you have all your forms filled out on Planet High School because you can't try out until your physical is filled out on them. Also, if you are interested in playing on the girls lacrosse team but have no idea what it's all about, you can still head out to tryouts and learn all about the fastest sport on two feet. Girls are still definitely needed and they'll teach you everything that you need to know. Okay, today is also the start of Black History Month and we want to highlight some of the influential African Americans from our community. We're kicking off the celebration with a super cool story about a restaurant right here in town that serves up every dish with a healthy side of history. Here's Blake with more. Main Street in Rock Hill is home to everything from residents to a revolving group of restaurants, each with their own unique flavor and flair. And though opening an eatery in the midst of a pandemic may seem insurmountable to some, Executive chef and owner Rob Masson says he's ready to serve up something that's infused with the essence of home. Um, <clears throat> my name's Rob Masson. I grew up here in Rockville, South Carolina. Uh, graduated Northwestern High School in 1997 and uh, just set off, um, off to school and off to, to cooking my life away. Known for his creative cuisine and farm-to-table freshness, this seasoned chef is convinced his new establishment will be a hit. With more than playful presentation, the counter comes with a heaping spoonful of history half a century in the making. wanted, you know, the counter to be the focal point of the restaurant so that we could have you come and sit at the counter and have a very unique experience, learn about the counter, learn the history behind the counter. 60 years ago, almost to the day, 10 gentlemen sat down at this very lunch counter behind me and they ordered some burgers and some coats. Now at the time, this was a segregated establishment, so when they were refused service, they decided to take a stand, all by sitting down. To be honest with you, I left home that morning not planning to do anything out of the ordinary. And so I, I ran into the group, they was on the way down here, and they told them what they was going to do. And the guy told me I was chicken if I didn't go, so that's how I ended up down here. David Williamson and his nine friends refused to leave. They were arrested for trespassing and offered the choice of a $100 fine or 30 days of hard labor. One paid the fine, and the others chose jail time. Dubs of the Friendship Nine, their protest was pivotal in the fight for civil rights in the South. And though the movement was slow to gain momentum at the start, Williamson says it was the beginning of a lifetime legacy. We were fighting for change, we wanted change, but you know, change comes slow sometimes. So we didn't expect anything, but it was the right thing to do. Yeah. And I haven't regretted it one bit since then. But to think it's been 60 years, ow. Oh. You know, it's something to think about. And this slice of history, Chef Rob says, is an honor to preserve and after 60 years has now officially come full circle. Um, in 1961, these gentlemen were refused service at the counter. Um, and in 2020, a couple of these gentlemen were able to actually be the first to receive service at this county. So that was one of my things that we really was really near and dear to my heart to be able to do. And as only one of the five remaining members of the Friendship Nine, Mr. Williamson says though there's still a way to go when it comes to racial equality on all sides, the first step is a fairly simple sentiment. With love you can do move mountain. With hate, all you do is divide it. And you can't conquer nothing with hate. For CRN TV, I'm Blake Woodard. 
Thanks, Blake. I love how this important piece of our local history is being preserved in a whole new way. And the fact that the five remaining members of the Friendship Nine were the first to be served, now that's cool. Okay, seniors, before I forget, Starting today, these awesome senior t-shirts designed by one of my favorite people will be on sale for just $10. Now, they will only be available for the next two weeks, so get yours before they disappear. So get yours while you can. Okay, little bit of a long show today, but definitely well worth it. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media for all the updates. For CRN TV, I'm Paige Bell.